Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Going to open up the box for this Bafang BBSHD. Hook it up and test it. So stay tuned um, and check out my blog links down below to Ride EMTB. Thanks. Gonna open up my mid drive bike kit. So this is the BBSHD 1000 watt. 52 volt system showing you what's in the box so start out with brake handles with our brake shutoffs two of those right and the left a couple cranks right and the left our chain ring i think this is a standard 46 tooth 46 tooth chain ring we have an extension for our battery power. Assorted nuts and bolts, looks like for our crank and the triangle bracket and uh, bottom bracket bolts. Some other bolts here, so these are for attachment. Comes with a tool to tighten our motor onto the bike frame for the bottom bracket mount. Looks like we're getting into the goodies. Oh boy, heavy. The actual motor. So this is a BBS HD mid-drive motor, brand new. Still got our plastic on it. Here is our display. This is called the DCP18 display. Get out. There's the display. This has the USB charging port underneath. Looking forward to running this display. A light. I wasn't expecting a light. A little six volt light. Some gloves. Oh, our throttle. Um, bottom bracket tool. This has got a socket on one end in our puller. This is our speed sensor, our speed hook pickup. Our main wiring harness. So this has got all of our different things. Stay tuned, we're gonna dry fit all of this. Some more assorted nuts and washers, lock nuts. Handful of zip ties in there. And the all important stickers stating that if I'm in Europe, I'm legal at 250 watts. So that's in the kit. Let's hold on and I will lay everything out and hook it up. Hey, David here. I'm breaking in real quick. That link I keep mentioning takes you to a step-by-step -step page. Picking the right bike. What's inside the kit. Disassembling your bike. Installing the motor. Five steps for an e-bike wiring and components. Putting your taillight on. Routing and organizing. And then it goes into other items as well. Each one of these pictures you can click on is an article with, in this case, detailed instructions for installing the motor. What tools do you need? And then it includes a video. So I keep mentioning, go to that link below. This is why I've got it all organized in a nice, clean format for you to take you from start to end. All right, so I've been trying to think about different ways to show the wiring on an e-bike. So I thought I'd lay it out. Lots of folks think that the display is the heart of the e-bike. It, it's not. On a mid-drive, the controller is the heart of it. The display is just a, showing what's going on. And then you've got functions that are leading into the controller, which is located inside the motor casing. So here is the motor with all the wires coming out. I can see that it is a little confusing. Let's step through the wires real quick. Main wiring harness. This is our uh, speed sensor. This is a shift sensor. This is our lights and our battery. We'll hook you each up and then we'll test things out. So let's jump into main wire harness. This is probably the most critical. Nice thing with the Bafang kit, it has some nice arrows attaching, kind of showing how to attach things. Pop that guy together. And then on the main wire harness, you're gonna have four leads coming off. 
Two of these are going to be brakes. These two yellows that have a uh, female end will be our brake controls, display, and then our uh, throttle. So let's do our display next. That's the green. Again, all keyed nicely. You're not going to get confused. They are stiff because they are waterproof to a certain extent. I would call them water resistant. Throttle. We're going to go to our female to male end. Again, line our arrows up, slide it together, throttle. I'm going to hook up one of our brakes, test this coming up. If I slide the cable connector out, it will actuate the switch, turn things off, but we'll test it doing that. To start with, let's just put it together regular. Line everything up, got my arrows, pop it together. So, wire harness is now hooked up. Speed sensor. Speed sensor is this little gadget right here. I'm not going to hook this all the way up. I'll show you what it looks like. But that's our speed sensor. It has a magnet that feeds back a signal to the controller. It tells you when things are moving. That is this connection. This is our shift sensor. It's kind of an orangish colored shift sensor. This is an optional item. I'm not going to put it on today. It doesn't affect it anything. But I'll do a special video just on what a shift sensor is and how does it work. This next lead, a little fine one, they leave this open in case you want to wire things up, you know, like brake lights. The kit comes with a pretty nice six volt headlamp. So we'll hook that guy up. Again, only going to go one way. Last item. Last item is our battery. Make sure your battery is off. All right, we're going to test things out real quick. All right, turn my battery on. Let's go to our display. All right, and then you have your uh, switch sensor on. Hold it. You can see we've got some lights. All right, we can cycle up our pedal assist level, is shown down here. Cycle up through those one, two, three. So we got a good connection here. Happy with this so far. All right, you can back this down to zero. This would have you regular pedaling on the bike. You can pedal regular on an e-bike. It doesn't affect you in any way. But we want to turn this up a little bit to test it. We'll go to three. At this point, I should be able to take my throttle. All right, so that's level three. Let's back it down to level one. So you can see, I'm going to go full, just a slow spin, All right? Let's go up to level five. This display, the DPC-18, can go to nine levels. You can have three, five, and nine. It comes standard with five. I'll probably keep it in this level. We can also do things like switch it to sport mode. That's by holding the plus key down. So I'm in eco mode. We'll go to sport. All right, this is going to give me max speed on the throttle. Again, trial it out. It doesn't look different, but that is moving quite a bit faster. So all of this, we're going to jump back and talk about what we've got going on here. But what I want you to think about is, number one, subscribing. Number two, I'm going to have the link in the description that's going to describe all of this on my website. So check that out, Ride EMTB. All right, so thanks. Please subscribe.